Okay, so now I want to look at some functions that are not linear and show that they're not linear. So this is exercise 1.62, and I'm going to do part two. So L is a function from R2. L goes from, uh, actually, instead of calling it L, since L means linear, I'm just going to use F. F goes from R2 to R3, and it is defined in the following way. F applied to the vector xy is equal to sine x 1, 0, 1 plus cosine y, 0, 1, 1. Okay, now, it, this doesn't seem linear because sine of x is not linear and cosine y is not linear. Sine and cosine are not linear, so this probably shouldn't be linear. So that's really, that's really the intuition here that's going to help us show that this is not linear. So basically, we want to use the fact that sine of x or cosine of y is not linear to show that this is not linear. Uh, and what we need to do for a for, for two particular vectors or, or, or for any particular vector, we just need to show that the equality in the definition of linear transformation uh, does not hold. So in other words, we need to find two constants, uh, C1 and C2, and two vectors, V1 and V2, such that the following equality does not hold. Uh, F applied to C1, V1 plus C2, V2 is not equal to C1 F applied to V1 plus C2 F applied to V2. Now, some of you may might already see a trick or what to do, but I'm just going to kind of act like maybe we think it is linear and try to prove that it's linear and then see what happens, see, see where the problem happens. So let's say I want to apply F to the vector C1. Um, I'm just going to say X1 y1 plus c2 x2 y2 okay so what is this going to be to apply f to this vector we have to combine it into one vector so c1 x1 plus c2 x2 is in the top and then c1 y1 plus c2 y2 this is in the bottom okay so this is going to be sine of c1 x1 plus c2 x2 times the vector 101 plus cosine c1 y1 plus c2 y2 0 1 1 okay so now at this point to prove that it was linear, what would, what would we have to do? Well, we'd have to use the fact that sine and cosine are linear, but sine and cosine aren't linear. So this is kind of similar to exercise 1.61 part one, where we use the fact that the dot product is linear. Okay, but now it's kind of the opposite of that. We want sine and cosine to be linear, but they're not. Okay, and so we can't do the next step of the proof. And so this is what tells us, uh, because this is where the, the hang up and the proof is to prove it is linear is, this will tell us or give us a hint about what example vectors we can use. Uh, in other words, what vectors can we use to show uh, that there is an inequality here? Okay, so basically, we just want to use the fact, we want to concentrate on the fact that sine and cosine are not linear. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to use the fact that it is not true that sine of lambda times x is equal to lambda times sine x, okay? In other words, sine does not satisfy this property of being linear, okay? So the example vector I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose that v1 is equal to the vector, let's say, um, 2, 0. I'm going to say that c1 is equal to one, uh, C1 is equal to, let's say, 2, and I'm going to say C2 is equal to 0. Okay, so L applied to C1 V1 plus C2 V2 is equal to L applied to the vector 4, 0. And I just remember I'm, I'm using the letter F, so let me change that. Okay, well, what is f applied to the vector for 0? Well, this is just going to be sine of 4 
times one zero one. Okay, now C one F of V one plus C two F of V two. What is that? Well, C one is two, so this is going to be two F of the vector V one, which is two zero uh, plus zero since C two is zero. What is this? This is two times sine of two one zero one. Okay. Now, what I need to uh, what I need to show you here is that uh, these two things are not equal. So sine of four is not equal to two times sine of two. Why not? Well, we can think about it this way. So two is less, so zero, zero is less than or equal to two, and that's less than or equal to pi. So sine of two is greater than zero. Okay, but four, zero, uh, sorry, yeah, pi is less than or equal to four, and this is less than or equal to two pi. So sine of four is less than zero. So there's no way that sine of four can be equal to two sine of two. So in other words, for the particular vector, or for the particular constant, C1 is equal to two, and V1 is equal to two zero, and C2 is equal to zero, so it doesn't matter what V2 is. Okay, for these particular values, uh, we see that this is not linear. We, we see that F applied to C1, V1, plus C2, V2, does not equal to C1, F applied to V1, plus C2, F applied to V2. In other words, F is not linear. Okay, because it does not, because we can find a particular choice of vectors and constants such that the equality in the definition of linear transformation is not true.